Welcome back. So now we have the correct version of the firmware downloaded for the machine that we own. And we're going to prepare the SD cards that we need, or one or two, depending on your preferences, to hold the firmware so that we can get it into the machine. The display hardware itself, native, comes with a micro SD card socket inside. Um, there are videos from Creality and others that show you how to take the back off, put the card in, and so on. It's a micro card. And that would be something like this one, which my autofocus camera will be kind to me. Uh, there you go, almost. 32 gigs SDHC is what I'm holding in my hand, anyway, from Lexar. As Lexar seems to be having a sale on right now. And the micro SD will come with a carrier, and you put the two together, it goes in a full SD card slot, and you leave it by itself, and it'll fit in the micro SD slot. The other option, if uh, you've done what I've done, which is to put um, an adapter, a micro SD to full size SD adapter, into my display hardware, then you could actually just use a full size card if you discover that these are on special. As here I managed to oh, look at that, it's back to front because of the camera, sorry, but it's a 64. Turn it that way up. There's a difference between back to front and upside down, and it's about it's, a, it's about the focus. The camera loves faces. Uh, hide my face. Hide my face. I'm not sure it's worth it at this point, but just yeah, there goes the light compensation as well. So it's a 64 gig HD XC card, right? Because we're going to prove that you can do it with either one, no problem. All we have to do is achieve a primary partition on this thing, let's say uh, 15 gigs max, so that we stay away from the 16 gigabyte ceiling, and we can get our disks um, prepared, we can put our firmware on here, and we can flash up our, our printers. So let's get started. So I'm starting with the 64 gig HDX C card, SDXC, right there. And uh, it came right out of the box with drive letter D uh, recognized on it. It is, uh, if I do the right click properties thing on the name, it came out of the box format, uh, partitioned at least, NTFS, not FAT32. It has some used space on it. Don't know why. I didn't use it. And all that free space allocated, but not necessarily uh, useful for the way we want to use this tool. So the first thing I'm going to do to it is format it. And that's probably the first thing you guys do when you stick your card in. We uh, we left click, sorry, right click it again. We find the word format. We say please format. And then we look at the options it's offering. Now we know, because we've heard often enough, that where we're shooting for is FAT32 as an operating system. Now what? It doesn't have one. Well, not to worry, because at this stage, you and I know, don't tell everybody, that if you want to get to FAT32, you need to have a smaller partition to start from. So we're going to get there from here. This card is, is presently uh, overly abundant in space. Let's keep it at NTFS. But I do see 4096 bytes here. And just because that's what I'm working towards, not that it's going to help because I'm going to reformat it anyway, but my gut says, let's go with that. It was offered to me. I'll take it. I don't need a name yet because I'm going to reformat it again in a little while. All I'm doing here, may as well leave quick format checked here because I'm in a hurry. This is the first stop on a journey. So we start, Don't not to worry about erasing things because... We're focused on that card, not what else is in my computer. Okay, so we've done that now. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the Start button over here for Windows. This is Windows 10 that you're looking at after the update. So there's a feature in here after the Big Manager's update that gave a little additional functionality here to the disk management software. It wasn't there before. And we have to do this very carefully because otherwise we'll mess ourselves up. So again, this is how it came to me out of the box. Some unallocated space at the front end, and all of this healthy primary partition stuff over here. 
this is my my removable drive D but it's too big so what I'm going to try to do is first I'm going to shrink it by shrinking it I can get some more unallocated space given over to me and I'll be able to convert that space to something usable so it offers me a default shrinkage it's going to take it as small as it possibly can your numbers may vary because the number that it's offering me here is varying as I experiment with the card and I do various things with it, I think as soon as it hits a piece of what might not be junk, it stops. So if it's left some remnant of a file or a folder in the middle of the disk, it seems to stop on that. But right now we're doing really well. We can shrink the heck out of this. So please do. And now I still have a partition here, but I have all this unused space. Now it happens three gigs would be big enough for me. So you know what, in the, in the interest of keeping the video short, I'm going to stop here and I'll put some additional blah blah at the back end of this video if people want to stick around and learn other neat tricks. So I'm down to this now. Now I can format it to the size I, I want. Okay. If I back out of here, because I've done the shrink thing, let's just start with a clean slate. There's my D drive again. And if I ask it, properties wise, how big are you? It says, oh, I'm just three gigs. Just a little guy, which is great because now I can turn around and say, okay, I'll tell you what I want to do. I want to format you. I keep moving this so I can see what I'm doing. Fat32, look at that. It's even the default of this size of disk. 4096 has been offered to me. I'm good to go. I'm going to call this CF61 flash because I'm feeling optimistic. I'm going to say start, and it says don't worry about that because there's nothing on there anyway. And you know what? I'm done. This particular disk is already big enough. Well, oh, it took away my explorer. Give that back. This disk is already wherever it went. Big enough to hold the um, DWIN set files and the firmware bin files and get this job finished. And you can in fact put both sets on the same disk. So I could stop right now because I have a full size SD card reader plugged into my display, but you probably can't stop here. It's gonna be exactly the same operation as you just watched if you wanna skip ahead, but I need to practice anyway. And we may as well do this just the way you would. So let's pretend we're going to take the SD card here, which is full size, as it happens. We're going to eject that. We're going to set that aside. We're going to say, okay, that is the one I'm going to use for the motherboard because that's also a full size card. And now I need a micro SD card and I'm not a trusting sort. And I don't want to take a chance on putting everything on the same disc. I would want to have two separate discs. So you'll hear a little musical tone again. Love that music. There it is. That is now me plugging in the other card, which isn't empty because I didn't prepare it for this video. So since you guys are probably in a hurry, I'm going to change my mind. I'm not going to repeat everything here. Let's pretend something different instead. This uh, happens to be a 32 gig micro SDH, SDHC card. That's what it is, I promise. And I split it in half in a previous video when I was preparing everything here. And what you see here is one half of the disk. If I if I go in here and I look, I know I said you were in a hurry, but I just can't help myself sometimes. This is the drive we're looking at. It happens to be 32, and I split it already this way for, for my own purposes. And what was important to see here was the primary partition here, but logical drive there. If you see primary partition twice, you're in trouble. And I can only get this logical drive right now using a paid partition management software. There is another way to create a simple volume and allocate data drive here, um, but I don't want to slow this down, which I'm already doing. I'll Again, I'll try to remember to put that in on the end of the video, or, and if I've forgotten, somebody will challenge me, I'm sure. So we're already set up the way we want to be, but um, these files don't go on here until later. That's kind of spoiling the view. I'll put those back in again at step three. We could, if we were going to, let's say we've already flashed our system with a previous uh, 
firmware and we don't want to take a chance on confusing ourselves so the smart thing to do is usually to format what you've got there I'm just showing you you can get as high as 15 gigs I probably could have gone a little bit more a 16 gig drive doesn't actually give you 16 gigabytes of storage space it gives you 15 point something and that's all I've done here is I've pretended this is a 16 gig card by by formatting it to 15 point something it made a difference when I came to um, allocate the sectors here the default for the size I have here was 8 kilobytes the default for 16 gigabytes precisely was 16 kilobytes and I wasn't offered 4096 anymore so I'm, I'm under the threshold for that reason just in case you guys decide to ex do something different extemporize that was the word um, I've given it the same sort of deal here as CR6 well we could say one flash because it is a flash um, we could also um, say quick format there say start yes we're gonna erase everything that's already there and we're going to be good to go. No, thank you, Mr. Norton. Don't need your help. Format complete. I now have, with a little bit of babble in the middle, I have two SD cards prepared for the next step. Step three is where we put the correct files on those cards and get them into the machines. You'll have to forgive the part where I did uh, the production of these videos in reverse order. So the card that you're looking at as we come to put the files on will only be the um, the single micro SD card version that I just showed you I didn't bother to prepare two separate cards then but I will for step four so that we can assure everybody that both the XC and the HD work see you on the other side mm -hmm.